Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to Okami. I'm Aurora, the dragon. We are going to go to adventure. Now I forget what we were doing. I think we caught Whopper. Now we can make it nice and good. So, we're going to go and fight the Crimson Helm. I think that's what we're doing. Meat! We have the meat! Alright, let's go. Up to the crimson town. At least I think we're gonna fight him. If I recall correctly. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've played Okami. Yes, I've, do I've totally been sent to do some shopping. I think I have some stuff to sell, do I? No, I've already sold stuff. Okay, I forgot. <laughs> okay. Like, I think we've, we've found the missing puppers. So now it's time to... Time to continue with the story. So we'll have to also find all the wanted demons in, uh... <gasps> chickens! <gasps> there are chickens to feed, but first, we must feed the chickens! Wrong button. Just the wrong way down. Wow, I can see the. Wow. Mountains in the background. I'm sorry, Ami. I wanted to take a look around. You can take a nap. My grandma said he saw some kind of island floating in the sky. Surely that's impossible. My grandpa said there was an island up there called the Celestial Plain. That's where all the great gods are supposed to live. I don't know though. It's all a bit far-fetched, if you ask me. I do like the ideas of like the gods living on floating islands. Monkeys like herbs, right? No, they like seeds. I was wrong. I keep forgetting what monkeys like. Yay, I got happy. 
We got happy monkeys. It's over here. <sighs> oh no, it's a blockhead. Oh my god, I hate these guys. I am blockhead. I guard this place so that all shall pass. Wait, I mean, none shall pass! What are you talking about? I am the one and only blockhead yesterday. And those who claim otherwise are in for it, sure. Are you trying to break through my airtight defense? Ha, impossible. Nothing can harm this body of mine. Of course, there are those weak points of mine. Declare blood to those who slay me in an instant. But I wouldn't be foolish enough to expose such a weakness. Now be on your way, none shall pass. Are you still doing it? I hit the wrong button. I was gonna, I was gonna bang my head. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Oh my god, go away. Oh, I don't know. We hate blackheads. We hate blackheads in this house. Don't we say a Yeah, you see, I know, I know, I know, I hit the wrong button. Okay. So, here. Does it matter what order I do them in? Here. Here. And... Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure, buddy. He died a warrior's death. Nobody cares. Just die. We obtain bullhorns. so high up. So we can take fall damage. We just have to be very, 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 very high up. Sleeping chickens. Okay. It's spooky night time, so... We 
explored the entirety around the shrine. Is there anything behind the shrine or under the shrine? Doesn't look like it. Owl's already coming. Oh, time to go inside. Look at all the sleepy dogs! A worthy opponent, I see. Let us fight again. You got it. I'll be able to take you yawn anytime, right, Furball? Master 
I like the little humming noise they're making. Ooh, rock. We got grapes! Juicy fruit plucked from the vine. Was that from the tree or was that from the rock? <laughs> Sleeping monkeys, be the monkeys. Feed every animal, every single one. Okay, another rock. I'm gonna hit this rock. I startled the monkey. And a clover. Since any ventured this way. Are 
towards Bound Spirit. My eyes have failed me. I can no longer see. In their stead, my inner eye can judge a person's true form. You appear to be a maiden most fair. Oh yeah! What could possibly bring you to the Gale Shrine? You must leave this place. Leave this place, for it is no longer a shrine of the gods. It is now cursed and under the control of a horrible creature. This is no place for a fair maiden such as you! Fair maiden? You talking about you, Furball? That's the funniest thing I've ever heard! <laughs> Mr. Maiden is accompanied by his little booger. Is the village meant to end at last? Little Booger! You better not be talking about me! Hardly anyone has visited the Gale Shrine since it has been closed. The strangely frizzled friend, <laughs> the strangely frenzied man over there is one of the few. He has been meditating alone at the shrine's entrance. But his sleep is filled with nightmares that makes him cry aloud. I pity the poor man and would like to render what service I could. When I try to peer into his dreams, an evil force bars my way. Who is this strange man? Come to think of it, Susanna said something about being possessed. He's been acting all weird, like that time he helped Cushy. What is this? I sense an immense power. You just sense the orbs now, dude? It wasn't your touch. It envelops your body. Could it be the Satomi power orbs? Yes. Fair maiden, the orbs would only choose one. Beast's blood! 
Ja. This is the... This 
He has an exercising arrow on it. I know we can use it to open doors sealed with evil power. Oh, I yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, skip, skip, skip the conversation. I, I just found out how I can skip the conversation. Sweet. Oh man, I hope there's a safe place soon. Oh, check out this awesome windmill! I'd love to make this baby spin. Oh, there's not a breath of wind in the air. Hint, hint. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh hey, there's a saving place. Back. Evil but we're going to save. And that's all the time I have for today. So thank you all for joining me. I'm Aurora, the Dragon Leader. And I'll see you next time. Bye.